result of many, many years of turning our backs on the work of building individuals and strengthening families. In many respects, it is easier to build a baseball stadium than it is to rebuild families and rebuild communities. I think she's eminently qualified based on her management experience, her community involvement, her heart for the people, and she's just a smart, smart woman. Her experience goes beyond sitting on the council. Her experience is real world experience. In my mind, all roads lead back to education. And so specifically what I want to do is be the education mayor and work collaboratively with the public school system to help them do what they do more effectively. Anyone looking at her bio and her resume has to be impressed. I mean, you don't just wake up one day and become you know, an executive at one of the largest telephone companies. We get quick moments in life where you can make the decision about how to use power, about how to use privilege in the way that it is not just for yourself, but for everyone. And that moment of opportunity for Marie was around how to move the resources of Verizon to help public education. I don't want to waste one moment, one more moment on political wrangling because I think that's been so much part of the problem to begin with. I want to start the first day that I'm elected to begin to work with the school system as a partner. I'm impressed by her as a person of faith and a person of and family. Those are the two things that sort of come to mind when I think about her. Her, her faith in Christ and her dedication to the family. Part of the city's responsibility, part of the civic contract, is to have improve the lives of everyone that works here and lives here. And that really has to be something that really makes the community livable. And I think that she really has that vision and really embodies it. The issues facing us and the need for rebuilding parts of our city and the families there is going to require every one of us to help in some way. But I believe that the resources are there and that the desire is there. What we need is connecting leadership at the helm to bring the pieces together. Marie really would bring people together. She understands how to put a team of people together that can get things done. And people really love working with her and love working for her. At this time and at this day, with what this city needs to bring it together, to have to focus on the least, the long, the left, and out. It is outrageous that we have a situation of growing jobs and growing unemployment, and that's exactly what's happened over the last few years. She brings both the experience of management and the experience of life into what is a very, very difficult job. She presents herself as she is, and that's extraordinary in these times when there's a lot of spin. I just think she's just a born leader and she's quite well you know, in leading this city. That is the winning story. That's the winning message. People from Ward 3 to Ward 7, Ward 2 to Ward 8, they get that. And we are going after their votes. We're earning their votes day by day. And that's how we're going to win this race. I will vote for Marie Johns September 12th. I'm voting for Marie Johns on September 12th. Oh, vote for Marie Johns on September 12th. You know, absolutely. Vote for the city. Vote for hope.